welcome to the AI lecture series in this lecture we will discuss solving problems by searching so we will have a brief discussion about problem solving agent the well defined problems and their solutions the example problems related to the toy and real world problems then we will discuss searching for solutions and what will be the infrastructure for search algorithms and at the end we will be having discussion related to measuring problem solving and its performance so let's start our lecture so intelligent agents are supposed to maximize their performance if the agent can adopt a goal and aim at satisfying it so the performance measures of a goal can be maximized if the agent is intelligent enough to make certain decisions so these goal they help an organized behavior by limiting the objectives what the agent is trying to achieve and hence the actions it needs to consider so by organizing and adopting certain measures the performance can be maximized by the agent so the goal formation is based on the current situation as well as the agent's performance measures and it is the first step in solving the problem so the problem formulation is the process of deciding what actions task and state should be considered and given a goal which have to be achieved for performing such actions or tasks So this is a simplified roadmap of Romania. The initial position is the arid, and we want to go from arid to futurist. So there are three main routes that can be followed. We can move from arid to the desert. can move from arid to the cbu and we can move from arid to the timeosura so let's suppose we have an agent and it has adopted the goal of driving to move from one place to another and then considering an example of a map where one wants to move from futurist and it go from arid so there are three roads that lead out of arid one is towards cbu the other one is temosra and the third one is zend so none of these achieve the goals unless the agent is familiar with the geography of romania it will not know which road to follow so in general an agent with several immediate options of unknown values can decide what to do by first examining future actions that eventually lead to states of known values so the figure shows the complete scenario of what we want to do and which goal is going to be achieved in the given example so in the given example we want to reach a certain destination so for this we will have to perform certain action or task so the process of looking for a sequence of actions that reaches the goal is called search 
so a search algorithm it takes a problem as an input and returns a solution in the form of an action sequence so once a solution is found the actions it recommends can be carried out and this is called the execution phase so we have a simple formulate search and execute design for the agent and it's shown in figure 3.1 so this figure shows how a simple problem solving agent it performs certain task correction for the given problem so we'll have a simple function with which returns some actions initially the actions are empty and there will be a state will 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 be which will be currently a world state description of the current world state there will be a goal the final destination and there will be a problem formulation for a given scenario so the task of a simple problem solving agent it will first formulate a goal and a problem it will search for sequence of actions and then it will execute the actions and when they are completed it formulates another goal and it starts over so after formulating a goal and a problem to solve the agent calls a search procedure to solve it it then uses the solution to guide its action doing whatever solution which are recommended and the next thing to do it will be typically the first action of the sequence it will then remove that step from the sequence so once the solution has been executed the agent will formulate a new goal so we will have different goal scenarios for a given problem there might be a single goal and there is a possibility of achieving multiple goals performing multiple actions and multiple tasks so what are the well defined problems and solutions a problem can be defined formally by five components there is an initial state that the agent starts in so for the given example the initial state for agent in romania might be described as an initial arid so the second one is the description of the possible actions which are available to the agent the given action can be performed by the agent in the given scenario or a given problem st statement or a given problem structure so there are given a particular states returns the set of actions that can be executed and we say that each of these actions they are applicable in the state which is represented by s for example from the state initially you are starting from the arid the applicable actions are cbu kimosra and zarend so these are the three applicable actions that can be performed while starting from the arid so the other thing is the description of what each action does the formal name for this is the transition model transition model is specified by a function known as result that returns the state that results from doing actions a in state s so we we'll also use the term successor to refer to any state reachable from a given state by a single action so for example if you are going to solve a problem and we have started from arid and we are going to zarin so we can say that initially we were started from arid and if we are proceeding to our goal so the next state will be initial of zarend it means that now we have to start from zarend so 
so to gather the initial state the actions and the transition model implicitly define the state space of the problem so the state space of the problem is defined by the initial state the per action performed and the transition model so the set of all states that are reachable from the initial state by any sequence of actions and the state space forms or create a directed network of graph in which the nodes are states and the links between nodes are the actions so the map of humania in figure 3.0 show, 3.2 shows that it can be interpreted as a state space graph if we view each road as standing for two driving actions one in each direction so it's a path in the state space which is a sequence of states and they are connected by a sequence of actions so the other factor is the goal test each will determines whether a given state is a goal state sometimes there in a explicit set of possible goal states and this test simply checks whether the given state is one of them so the agent goals in omania is the singleton set that is the future is we want to move from arid and reach to the destination which is futurist and the fifth parameter or factor is the cost function so a path cost function it assigns a numeric cost to each path so the problem solving agent chooses a cost function that reflects its own performance measures so for the agent trying to get to future is the time is of the essence so the cost of a path might be its length in kilometers so the step cost of taking actions a or taking action a single action a in state s to reach state s prime is denoted by c and c is the component or c has components s a and s prime s is the initial state a are the actions and s prime is the final state or the destination state so this this step cost for mania are shown in figure 3.2 as root distances so in the given example we are considering the cost function as the root cost or the step cost while moving from one place to the other place so we have different example problems the problem solving approach has been applied to a vast array of the task environments we list some of the best known examples and we differentiate between the toy and real world problems we differentiate them in toy and real world problems so a toy problem is intended to illustrate or exercise various problem solving methods it can be given a concise the exact description and hence is usable by different researchers to compare the performance of the algorithms so a real world problem is one whose situations people actually care about these problems tend not to have a single agreed upon descriptions but we can give the general flavor of their formulations so the example problems can be divided into type problems and real world problems so let's have our discussion about the type problems so the first example we examined it was the vacuum world so what are the states of this vacuum world problem so the state is determined by both the agent location and the dirt locations the agent is one of two locations each of which might or might not contain dirt so there is an initial state any state can be designated as an initial state and the complete space state space is shown in figure 3.3 so the figure shows the complete state space for the vacuum world 
we have three possible actions that can be performed the vacuum can be moved to left it can turn to right and it can perform the cleaning so if you want to broaden the environment so we can include the up and down uh, movement in this problem so initially we have three possible actions so the traditional model consists of the actions which have their expected effects so except that moving left in the left mouse gear or moving right in the right mouse gear and performing cleaning in a square so that is the given transition model so the goal test will be that to achieve each square clean and the pass cost which will be the step cost one so the pass cost is the number of steps in the path so we have different real world problems they are twinning problems they are traveling sales person problems wheel assembly or problem robot navigation automatic assembly sequencing and are not more problems that are connected to the real world so now let us discuss searching for solutions so the possible action sequences starting at initial state from search tree with the initial state at the root the branches are the actions and the nodes correspond to the state in the state space of the problem so the figure shows the first steps in growing the search tree for finding a root from initial position to the destination that is from error to the future so the root node root node of the tree it will correspond to the initial state that is initial we are starting from error so the first step will be to test whether this is a goal state or we are approaching to the goal so in this case we add three branches from the parent node the error is leading to the three new child nodes that are the cbu mosra and zarin so we choose cbu first and then check to see whether it is a goal state or not and then we'll expanding it to get from the other nodes that are connected to the initial nodes so we can then choose any one of the these four or go back and choose most or zarin so each of these six nodes and each node is a a leaf node that is a node with no children in the tree so the set of all leaf nodes available for expansions at any given point is called frontier so we have a parent node and we have child nodes that are originating from parent node we have leaf nodes and also we have frontier so the given figure is showing a complete description it's a partial search tree for finding a root from error to the bush list so first the nodes which are expanded these are the shaded one and the nodes that have been generated but not yet expanded or the outline in the board also we have the nodes that have not been yet generated they are shown in faint dash lines so the array is connected to three child node that is we have parent node array it has three child nodes cbu timos and zarin and then we can expand cbu into uh, fagras orda and minchu so there are parent nodes there are child nodes there is leaf node and there is a frontier So this figure shows the complete description 
of the general tree search and graph search algorithms there is a wide difference between tree search and graph search the part of graph search that are marked in bold italic are the addition that are needed to handle repeated states so if we consider the function of tree search problem it will return a solution or a failure so it will initialize the frontier using the initial state of the problem and it will perform the action again and again if the frontier is empty it will return failure then it will choose a leaf node and remove it from the frontier if the node contains a gold state it will return the corresponding solution and it will then expand the chosen node that node will be added to the resulting nodes into the frontier so in the graph search function it will also return a solution or a failure the problem will be initialized and if the frontier is empty it will return failure so a leaf node will be chosen and it will be removed from the frontier so if the node contains a gold state then it will return the corresponding solution the node will be added to the explore set and then the chosen node will be expanded so adding the resulting nodes to the frontier and only if not in the frontier or the explore set so how the this function shows how the tree search and graph search perform uh, the task and they return the solution performing different actions or different group of actions so this is the description of the search tree in this figure a sequence of search trees that are generated by a graph search for the given romania problem of figure 3.2 3.2 is shown so at each stage we have extended each path by one step so it is noticeable that the third stage the northern most city has become a dead end so both of successor are already explored by other part so we have also uh, a scenario that the possible explore nodes can be the given gold state nodes or there might be possibility of a dead end so this is a description of a graph search there are rectangular grid with white and gray nodes the frontier always separates the explore region of the state space from the unexplore region in the form of white and gray nodes so in figure a the root head just has been expanded and it's connected to the the root node it's expanded and it is connected to four nodes so in figure b there is one leaf node and it's expanded and in c the remaining successor of the root nodes have been expanded in clockwise order so the black nodes define the nodes which are been explored and the other nodes they are the unexplored node or they are the nodes in the frontier so now let us discuss the infrastructure for the search algorithm so for each node of the tree we have structure that contains four components there is an state a state in the state space to which the nodes corresponds there is a parent the node in the search tree that generated this node there are certain task or actions the action that was applied to the parent to generate the node and there will be path cost the cost that traditionally denoted by g of n 
of the path from the initial state to the node and is indicated by the parent pointers. So the frontier needs to be stored in such a way that the search algorithm can easily choose the next node to expand according to its preferred strategy. There is an appropriate data structure for this which is a queue and the operations on the queue they will be certain uh, in, in a certain fashion. So when empty it returns true only if there are no more elements in the queue. The pop it removes the first element of the queue and returns it. And insert. So an element can be inserted and returns the resulting queue. So the queues are characterized by the order in which they store the inserted nodes. There are three common variants. There can be a first in first out. There might be the possibility of last in first out. And there is a priority queue. Which pops the element of the queue with the highest priority according to some ordering functions. So we can use these three variants FIFO. First in first out, LIFO, last in first out or the priority queue perform these tasks to insert the nodes in a given scenario for the problem functions. So the performance can be measured for the problem solving. The first one is the completeness. The completeness check that whether the algorithm is guaranteed to find a solution when there is one. The optimality it does the strategy find for the optimal solution. The time complexity that how long does it take to find a solution and the space complexity it shows how much memory is needed to perform that search. So these four are the performance measures or the performance matrix for the given problem solving scenario. So the time and space complexity are always considered with respect to some measures of the problem difficulty. In theoretical we can say the typical measure is the size of the state space that is denoted by V plus E where V is the set of vertices which are nodes of the graph and E is the set of edges that are the links in that given problem scenario or given problem structure or formulation. So the complexity is expressed in terms of three quantities. The complexity might be due to the branching factor or the maximized number of successor of any node. It may be dependent on the depth of the shallow edge gold and it may be the maximum length of any path in the state space. So the time is often measured in terms of number of nodes that are generated during the search and the space it is measured in terms of the maximum number of nodes that are stored in the memory. So that was all about this lecture, stay tuned and have a nice day.